this is the 3.0 kilowatt most hybrid inverter this is um, also called the transformer based inverter it has a very heavy transformer inside here so this particular trans kind of um, inverter is used for carrying heavy loads because of the transformer base inside we can use this power electric motor that has high starting current um, electric cooker anything that consumes electricity in high starting current and um, this particular inverter can power your AC your fridge your pumping machine everything in the house if you have a two bedroom or three bedroom flat every single device you is you have in your house can be powered by this inverter this is three kilowatts you cannot consume three kilowatts at a go i'm telling you so here we can see it's already running we've connected the batteries and everything here we can see it's the voltage coming from the grid now is 204 volts at 50 hertz that is the frequency of the ac current and from this icon you will notice the battery is already charging from the grid so we have two icons here this is the battery charging and the grid i mean the the load in the house you can see this sign showing the grid connection to the inverter converting the ac into dc which is used for charging the battery then if you look at it here we have made all the connections for the batteries the ac inputs the output and the bonding cable to protect this device from electric shock down here so here under it we can see we can see the connection this is the ac input we have three connections here the earth the line and the neutral this color code is the international standard color codes for green and earth for earth cable then the brown for the line then blue for the neutral the same thing goes for the output also we have the neutral the line and the earth so you cannot make a mistake if you understand the color codes here so the next two black cables here this one and this one which is also indicated here is showing you that this is going for the battery this is the black for the negative terminal of the battery then the red with the red cable also means the positive terminal then up here is the bonding cable the bonding cable is necessary in case there's a short circuit inside this device and you know it is metallic in nature so when you touch anything metallic and there's a short circuit there's a high chance of someone getting shocked so when this is bonded it, it transfers the current which is supposed to pass through the body down to this cable and into this this box this box comprises of the protective devices installed for this equipment the inverter so here we have one two three four five devices here so we are going to look at it one by one here is the input breaker for delivering voltage and current from the grid into this inverter here is a surge protector for um, control of excess voltage and current in coming into the inverter that is from sudden spikes or what we, call, what we call transient current so this is to protect against that here we have the breaker 125 amps from the battery to the inverter this is a protective device also here we have the voltage and current relay this is you can set the current and voltage coming in into this device so you can control it if this device is supposed to not be supposed to carry not more than 32 amps you can actually set this to control the current going in here but right now you can see it's reading at 8 amps at 200 and 203 volts here is the output breaker here so it just controls the output from the inverter to the load so down to this point we have the magnificent 250 ah thunderbolt 12 volt um agm battery this battery is very very effective for anything that has to do with high starting current of up to 75 amps you can see it is it's indicated here that initial current less less than 75 amps so if you send if you start a a device probably like an electric motor or three-phase motor that that draws very high amount of current it can handle up to 75 amps and 250 h battery is something that you won't come across most times this is a very unique um, kind of battery 
batteries this kind of battery is actually fast charging battery compared to batteries like um flooded lead acid and the gel battery gel, the gm is one of the best battery you can get when you come when you when you think about power powering high amount of load if you want to power up your air conditioners this particular setup we have two 12, two 12 volt connected in series by this jumper cable here so out here we are getting 24 volts which is what this system requires so with this particular EGM battery you can you can use it in extreme temperatures temperatures below zero degree and as high as more than um, 80 degrees Celsius so this is a battery you can use for any kind of weather they are rugged and very very solid compared to the flooded lead acid the gel battery and even the lithium for lithium batteries you cannot run them in, ex in extreme temperatures below zero or high temperatures this battery is designed to handle any kind of weather condition so this is a very good battery if you need something like this this battery can be used to power everything this inverter is required for so this is a complete configuration that is matched to meet the inverter's capacity so we've finished the connection for this particular setup as i said before this is a grid assisted system which means there is no there is no um pv input to this device this is charged by grid if you are in an area where you have grid power you can actually use this to charge your batteries and when the grid goes out it automatically switches to the battery which supplies power to the to the um, the load so here we have the changeover switch down here we have the output of the inverter here we have the we have the input of the inverter and the input of the grid here is going to the load so if you can see now the equipment cam is already on it's powering everything in the house presently like the like the fridge the the acs the fan the tv we have we have the all the lights the tv the home theater everything is powered on because of the rain you know so here we can see the fan has been started if you also go to the kitchen you see that the refrigerator is also running you see we have a 300 liter deep freezer there it's also running the tv the home theater everything is powered you can see all the lights all the lights are powered in the equipment in the house can be powered comfortably without any issues or tripping off of the Nevada itself. So that is all we have for this particular um, system.